Yeah, so welcome our viewers on this today's lesson. Uh, today we are going to learn about the from 3D mathematics. Uh, this lesson called uh, for the logarithms form 3 is a topic in form 3 a very important topic in form 3 uh, and also at KCAC level so we are going to look at this question uh, solve the following uh, logarithm equation solve the following logarithm equation and the question you are given this 2 plus log to the base of 3 so 2x minus 7 to the base of 3 is equal to the log of 5x minus 7 to the base of 3. So that is the question provided. That's the question provided. So therefore, you want to solve the value of x. So step number one, when you want to deal with this kind of question, step number one here, step one, step one is to identify the base. Identify the base. Identify the base. So this one is written to the base 3. It's written to the base 3. So therefore, these two, you check these two to logarithm rotation. These two represent logarithm of a certain number to the base of 3, which is equal to 2. So this one is logarithm of a certain number to the base 3. So we need to know what which number gives us this this logarithm to the base of 3. You say rate log of a certain number m to the base 3 is equals to 2. So this is in logarithm rotation. For you to get the number, you are supposed to write this number in in idex form. From logarithm to idex form. So you say log m to base 3 equals 2. In idex form, you say 3 raised power 2 is equal to m. 3 raised power 2. 3 raised power 2 equals to m. So what is m? m would be equal to 9. m is 9. So 3 raised power 2 equals m. So instead of 2, you write, you write and say the log of 9 to the base of 3 plus the log of to the base of 3, 2x minus 7 is equal to the log uh, 5x minus 7 to the base of 3 to the base of 3 to the base of 3 so that's what you get then the next step step number 2 is to, uh, to check the rules of logarithm that you need to apply the rules of logarithm so this one you are adding the log of the log of 9 to base 3 log of 2x minus 7 to base 3 so this one you are using the the multiplication law of logarithms that when you are multiplying numbers you are supposed to add the uh, logarithms so the same case applies to this because the log of 9 to base 3 plus log of 2x minus 7 to the base of 3 you are multiplying so you say the log you put them under the same base you multiply the numbers because there is the logarithm of this one plus logarithm of this one is the one that you are adding so you multiply the numbers 9 times 9 times 2x minus 7. This bracket means multiplication. Like that is equal to the log of 5x minus 7 to the base 3. Minus 7 to the base of 3. So that is step number 1. Uh, number 2. Then the next one, because this is logarithm of uh, to the base of 3 now, you have multiplied this one and you have multiplied this also. The logarithm of this one is equal to the logarithm of this. So next step, drop logarithms. Drop this log. Drop log to the base of 3. So you get now the equation as 9 bracket 2x minus 7 is equal to the log to the base. No, sorry, is equal to 5x minus 7. Is equal to 5x minus 7. Because now you have dropped the logs. The values are the same. You open the equation this. You get 18x, 9 times 7, that you get minus 63 is equals to 5x minus 7. Equals to 5x minus 7. Equals to 5x minus 7. You get 5x minus 7. So therefore, take this. Bring like terms together. Bring 5x on this side. Take negative 63 on the other side. So get 18x 
minus 5x because this was positive on this side uh, left hand side becomes uh, negative so you take this minus 7 if this is minus 63 you take it on the other side become plus 63 plus 63 like that so therefore 18x plus 18x plus uh so the 18x minus 5x that becomes to 13x that is equal to 13x then you take minus 60 minus 7 minus 7 uh, plus 63 you get this is 56 you get this is 56 that's 56 so what's the value of x what is the value of x there so you say 56 uh, x is equal to 56 divided by 13 x is equal to 56 divided by 13 so this becomes what so this becomes uh, x is equal to 4 uh, 4 all about 13 so that is how you solve that kind of question so you write it in uh, simplest fraction form which is 4 4 over 13 and that is a that's the answer so that is how you solve that so that's how you solve that one